Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I am filming a Zara come shop with me. I popped to the Westville White City store. I think it's fair to say that the Christmas decorations are up and ready and everyone's getting into the Christmas spirit, which is really lovely after everything we've been going through over the past few years. Westfield have their traditional fairy lights up and it was looking really pretty and just got me in a really good mood. So yeah, I really enjoyed seeing that. If you do like this video, please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will continue to do more of these come shop with me videos. If you find it hard to get out to the shops and just want to see garments in person, then I can do that and try things on and give you my opinion. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So as I walked into the store, I was um, surrounded by party wear. Um, it's obviously that season. I have tried on a couple of their party wear dresses. So if you're interested interested to see those then check out my party dressing video that I think I released last week um, so yeah do take a look at that because I um, have given my opinions on some of the Zara dresses as well as other retailers. I really like these silver boots, um, love that they've got a kitten heel and I do think you could style these in a way you know dressing them up but also wearing them casually as well like you could wear a long casual dress over it and just have the silver peeping out the front I think that would look really nice. So I saw this velvet dress which I thought was quite pretty, um, it's got cutouts in the side and then diamante detailing around the cutouts. The only reservation I have with uh, velvet is that it does pick up dust so bear that in mind um, with black in particular um, maybe try and go for a, a different colour but if you if you do want to go for black maybe um, tuck a lint roller um, into your bag if you can <laughs> or um, just keep one handy in the car or wherever you can just so you can sort of give yourself a dust off. I thought this sequin play suit was really cute and I did try it on when I visited Zara on a different day. However, I found the um, sequins between the legs really uncomfortable, so just something to bear in mind. This good old aviator jacket Zara have had in for probably going on five, six years now, um, year after year. So it's obviously a really good seller for them. I actually did buy it um, quite some years ago now, but I ended up selling it because I just found there wasn't enough space in the sleeves to get jumpers underneath. So if you are gonna get it, I would say size up. I think I got the small where I probably should have got um, maybe a large just so I could fit the, um, this, um, like knit sleeves inside so try it on with a knit if you do want to um, get this one. There was loads of bling in Zara, lots of um, diamante necklaces, jeweled necklaces, bracelets, earrings and um, belts and then the jewel detail also went on to um, dresses so just something to bear in mind if you're not looking to sort of um, spend money on a, on a new outfit you could just update something you've already got with a bit of jewellery or you could opt for a slightly plainer outfit and use like for example the necklace on the top here um, that use a necklace to sort of like elevate your outfit guys this jacquard um, cardigan coat was lovely um, I had seen it online before I went so I was hoping to be able to see it in person um, it's really thick it is $89.99 but I think you're you're getting what you pay for like it's really thick super warm um, and I think on the website they have styled it with a belt around it and that's exactly how I would style it because it also doesn't have a closure so you could wear it open but I think with the belt it just you know will keep the warmth in um, and just elevate it slightly um, I'd wear this with some probably some heels I would say like some heeled ankle boots that go up a little bit higher and um, you could even wear it with knee-high boots I think that would look lovely and just some black trousers underneath um, would look really chic I 
I love the simplicity of these um, satin gowns. I think you could get quite a bit of wear out of this one. You could even just pop a um, really nice chunky knit over the top if you wanted to wear it slightly casually and then um, put some chunky boots on with it. I try on the blush pink one um, in the fitting room. So if you want to see how that looks, then keep watching. I'm a sucker for a striped top and I really liked this knit. It's quite thick, so really good for layering. They had it in two colourways that I could see. I think these are just easy to just pop on with jeans, to be honest, and a nice scarf over the top um, with some trainers. I think that would look really nice, um, sort of effortless with a smart wool coat over the top. So I thought these um, suede biscuit colour boots with embroidery were lovely. Um, they did have a Z sticker on the tag and a lot of the time retailers will prep for sale. So they'll either um, initial tags with pencils or use stickers so that when the staff are pulling together all the sale items, it's, it's they've all, almost got a head start with everything. So bear that in mind, if you're ever shopping toward you know the time of a sale, you might be able to sort of see um, and get a little, in a little inkling into um, what is going to be in the sale. Not sure how I felt about some of the garments in this section. Um, I guess they're just not my style, but obviously wanted to show you guys in case there are things that you would want to have a look at. Um, just to let you know where I sort of um, travel a little faster or don't pull things out of the rack, it will just be that um, the st store staff were around so I had to be discreet in filming because I didn't want to get kicked out of the store. Um, I did love this um, embroidered velvet coat at the end, jacket sorry, um, I thought it was beautiful and I love the colours as well, I think that with just a pair of jeans and some heels would look lovely as a, a, a dinner outfit or going for a drink outfit, really nice. I love a bit of colour, so um, quite liking some of the orange bits over here. I don't think I actually own anything orange, but I did try on this Cardi, um, obviously not with the trousers that I'm wearing. I'd probably just put these with a pair of blue jeans. Um, but yeah, I thought this Cardi was lovely, um, really thick, really nice and soft actually. Um, I can't remember if it's got wool content, um, but you'll be able to see um, online if it does. But if it did, uh, I didn't find it itchy at all. This is the pink velvet dress I tried on in my um, party wear video. So if you want to see that one on, then um, check out that video. This is the section of dresses um, and party outfits that I wasn't so keen on. Um, I don't particularly like the silver hardware that's been used. I think the dresses themselves um, could be quite nice, but for me, the silver hardware really puts me off. Again, I really liked these boots as well and I thought for the price point they were quite good. So Little Kitten Heel again, they just gave me like an A Bing vibes and I think they just look really nice with some jeans and some red lipstick. Obviously you're going to want to put a top on as well, but yeah, really like these boots. I think I may get them, I might have to go back and try them on. So I carried as much as I possibly could into the fitting room. Um, I'm going to have to apologise for the footage in the fitting room and um, the mirror was so dusty and the fitting rooms as most of you probably know are really small in Zara so it didn't give me a lot of room to play with and to sort of show you the outfits as best I could but yeah hopefully you get um, an idea of the things I'm trying on just showing you my outfit wasn't wearing anything particularly special but because um, I like to be comfortable
beautiful when I go shopping. So I've just got on my mango shearling coat on. I did have my jumper on that matches my mango joggers, but I had to take it off and put it in the car because I was getting really hot. I've just got an Arquette vest on and then my Cezanne um, Faro bucket bag and my um, Adidas Falcon trainers. So these 80 skinny jeans I have in a few different colors. Um, I think they're a really comfortable fit actually. They do have a lot of stretch in them. Um, so if you prefer a bit of elastane in your jeans, then I definitely go for these ones. They're a nice high-waisted fit. I usually get them in a size 10 and I do have to wear a belt on them, especially as the day sort of goes on and your jeans kind of stretch out a little bit. I could probably do with a size 8 waist, but um, I don't think I'd be able to get my thighs into a size 8, so um, I opt for the 10 because I do just prefer to be comfortable. I would say though that obviously these hit me right in the ankles, so if you're any taller than 5 foot 3, have to see how this length works on you. So I picked up this stripe polo neck, turtleneck, however you want to say it. I really like this. I had to resist buying it as I have probably enough striped tops, um, but I really did like this one and I was very, very tempted. It's a really good length. So I've been on the hunt for a leather jacket. I want an oversized fit one for a little while now. So I did see this faux leather jacket and thought I'd give it a go, but it wasn't quite right. And I think I definitely do want to stick to a leather one. And um, you can see there's a slight fault as well on the collar. Um, I thought the detailing on it was, was nice though. And um, I think as your budget allows, um, there are some really good faux leather options out there. Um, also, if you are um, concerned about wearing um, leather, then these are a great option for you. So I do love a hoodie. Um, I may have a slight hoodie obsession, but this one was um, really nice as anticipated. I think I tried it on in a large, but I probably would buy it in an extra large because I'd want it to be quite oversized um, on me. Um, I like the slight drop shoulder detailing and then the um, the shape of the hood was really nice as well. So um, yeah, a great price point and um, a really nice um, sweater. This grey knit caught my eye. I quite like the detailing on it. However, um, the, the colour for me wasn't quite right. It looks a bit lighter on the video, but it was more of a sort of murky, dirtier grey. I also was a bit confused by the um, crochet kind of panel at the top. Um, I wasn't sure whether it should be pulled down or be kept up. When I did pull it down, I checked on the website and it is pulled down. Um, it just felt like it wanted to lift up and come back over my shoulder and um, so yeah a little bit of an odd fit so um yeah you would need to try this one on and maybe just keep it on for a minute or two and um do a couple of arm lifts to see if you feel comfortable in it another stripe top um just one of those easy everyday layering pieces um i have one similar but um if you liked the end of the stories one and couldn't get hold of it this is a nice alternative it is thinner the um, end of the stories one is more of a sweater um, whereas this one's more of a long sleeve t-shirt but nevertheless still a really nice top so here is the dusty pink dress that i showed you earlier um, I really like this one. I think it's just a beautiful classic dress. Um, I, I even think if they um, did it in sort of a, an off-white, it could be quite a nice um, simple bridal gown um, if you were having a low-key wedding. Um, it does have adjustable straps, but it doesn't have a side zip, so you do have to pull it over your head. I tried it on in a medium, but I think I probably could have sized down to a small because there's quite a bit of space under the arms. Um, I also didn't adjust the straps in the fitting room, which I would do if I was wearing it out. So just bear that in mind that it does look a bit low, but you can lift it up higher. I think the slit in the dress makes it look really sexy. Um, I would say that it's quite clingy on the tummy area, so if that's um, something you don't particularly like, then you may have to try this on and see how you feel in it first. So I quite liked this shirt as just a sort of everyday running out to do errands. You could just pop a scarf on it or you could even um, 
layer something underneath it was a bit thicker than a normal shirt so um you could probably put like almost like the stripe um long sleeve t-shirt underneath and then pop this on top and then just put your coat on and that would keep you fairly warm um again this one had a um a z on the ticket so one of them one of the stars that will probably end up going into the cell so just keep your eyes peeled for that one if you like it so this is the leather jacket that I tried on. Um, I really like the detailing on this one and it did um, feel and look to me nicer than the faux leather, which I think in general will be the case. Um, I tried it on in an XXL, um, however I think I'd want it a bit bigger than that. Um, I annoyingly didn't put a knit underneath it when I was there, um, but I would have liked to see if the knit fit underneath. I think there would have been enough space in the sleeves to get a knit underneath. I think the XXL is the largest size it comes in. I do think this is a really good um, affordable leather jacket though. Um, if you compare it to places like All Saints and Acne, I think obviously this is, you know, a, a much lower price point and a leather jacket is something you'll keep in your wardrobe for years so yeah still a really good option so this tweed sort of chanel-esque style um jacket isn't usually something i'd usually pick up but um the colors just sort of screamed out to me i'm a vulture for colors at the moment i just can't get enough of it but i really like this one i think just back with black jeans and just even with trainers if you wanted to but i think if you want something festive as well but you're not really into all the sequins or the bling if that's not your thing then this could be a nice alternative um maybe not for party wear because obviously you probably get quite hot but yeah a christmas day outfit nevertheless so i tried on this um satin shirt because i wanted to um talk about how you could wear something like this um from sort of the office to a party um you know just dressing it up with a bit of jewelry and adding some heels and just some some lippy however i would not recommend um this one um the quality of the fabric just felt really really cheap it was quite static so yeah i couldn't get it off fast enough to be honest a really nice dress if you're on the hunt for a um party outfit i thought this one was really cute um I, w I would wear a strapless bra underneath because you can see my bra poking out the sides there. Um, I tried it on in a small and I would probably buy it in a small and um, it felt fine. Um, I think you could also pop over like a cream knit or something um, and you know have it as a skirt or you could pop the cream knit underneath it and wear it on top. I think that would look equally look really nice. So if you've got like a, a sort of day Christmas um, you know family thing um, you could wear this with a knit and then um, lose the knit for a night out so there was um, a lot of felt shackets and um, gilets and padded shackets um, tweed shackets so um, if you are going to be buying into any of these then you definitely will get your wear out of them for not only winter but these are great pieces to take into spring um, so yeah quite versatile and um, quite good for layering as well.
again with the Chanel-esque um, tweed vibes. Um, I quite like this jacket. Um, I don't think I'd actually buy it because I don't think I'd wear it, but I really did like this look back with the um, blue jeans. And I think it's quite a nice spring look as well. If you're in the market for a cable knit jumper, this one was lovely, um, really thick and felt really nice, snuggly and warm. Um, £29.99 I think is a great price point on this one. I tried this gold skirt on in a different Zara um, on a different day and it was, I think I tried it in a medium and it was super teeny tiny. Um, it does have like short inserts um, on the inside so um, even though it's like quite mini you don't need to worry about flashing anyone because it's got um, the shorts underneath. So that's the end of the Zara Come Shop with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I was on the way back to the car and I walked past Zara home and thought I'd just pop in and see what Christmas decorations they had. Um, so I thought you might like to see that. So I've just tagged this onto the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I wanna thank you for watching and um, I'd love to hear any comments you have in the comments section below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. Um, and if you like these types of videos, then um, please do let me know any other shops you want to see and I will try and get out to them as soon as I can. Thanks guys, see you later.